All right, what we're working on today is a shelter for the meat chickens. We are doing an open pasture method. We saw it on YouTube. Um, I can't remember exactly where we saw it. If I find the video, I'll link it below if you want to check it out. But basically, they're going to be in the Premier One fencing. We're going to build a shelter for them, a really simple, easy shelter um, that we can use for other animals once we don't have meat chickens. Because, um, you know, pigs can use it, the goats can use it, we use it as a temporary barn. Um, it'll be a, a decent open-ended shelter. So we're going to use some hog panels and we got some treated wood so that it'll last for a while. A good heavy-duty tarp and some screws and that's all you're going to use. I'll let Josh explain everything that we're actually using. But we want to use this method because we wanted them to be on grass. We didn't want to have to move them every day. And... Um, we, we just needed something for shelter just to keep them out of the elements. Um, so we're going to use the Premier One fencing, put it in the field down there, I think, and be able to use these fields up here. And um, that's it. So we're going to get started. All right, so we just took two of the hog panels and what are they called? Huh? Cattle Those panels. Are just livestock, livestock panels. panels. Um, and zip tied them together all the way down. And then you have got four, what are these? Two by six by 10. Two by six by 10. And then a 12 by 16 inch tarp. Um, so that's mainly what you're gonna need if you wanna build something like this. Good steel. Are you cutting with a chainsaw? Yeah. <laughs> Even pigs don't know the difference. Daddy come and cough and scare this skill off. We gotta make do. We gotta make do. Sit down there. Cardinal. Uh, about two seconds of board. <laughs> How many feet? How long are the boards? Uh, that's about there? six inches wide across there. So that's about two seconds worth of cut a piece. You're killing me. Uh, a hundred and three quarter inches. A hundred and three quarter inches. And don't cut them like I did. <laughs> cut your foot off. Staples to uh, tie this on the wood. Poor ran up there to the <laughs> cut. You like this? Poor was like, mine, mine. <laughs> Is it loud? Alright, so what we did, we just took a wire and put along this with the zip ties just to secure it a little bit better.
devotion that brings me down. All right, so it's the next day. We got the shelter finished. Um, we are going to put wheels on it. We were. I think we'll plan to eventually, but we just moved it down here. Um, we waited a day to move them because it got really rainy and cold last night. So we didn't want them to be out here like first night in the rain. But um, we're putting up the Premier One fence and uh, getting ready to move them down here. I'm so proud of the kids. They know when you play a part in growing and nurturing the food you eat, you tend to appreciate it more. And I've definitely seen that in them. They've learned responsibility and sustainability, which are both so important right now. They know that food doesn't just come from a grocery store. And they know how to give thanks to the good Lord for the life we have and the food he provides us. We are so thankful for our amazing kids and this opportunity to live our life this way. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you are doing well and God bless. Mm -hmm.